lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Took me a while to get to this place. I'm so glad I'm in this space. Accepting all my Embracing up in his fatigue Cause there's nobody quite like me Oh, I like me and me Who I'm created to be Original, not to copy I'm gonna oh. tap on the heart To love again is a space for thought and expression of ideas. I will share my reflections on a variety of topics, relationships, faith and spirituality, money and finance, education, and professional purpose. I'll share experiences and lessons I've learned along life's way. So I ask you to join me on the second and fourth Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time as I share my thoughts and express my ideas on life. So today I want to talk about passion, purpose, and power, the intersection of your specific age. It is disheartening to see people flounder through life without recognizing what brings them passion. 
Can you imagine spending your life burdened with an assignment that does not bring you joy? Can you imagine spending your life doing a task that is meaningless for you? We've all been there at some point. We've all struggled to find the purpose and meaning for our lives. We've all asked the question, why do I exist? Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan, Mother Teresa, and Steve Jobs live or have lived their lives on purpose. Oprah's purpose is to teach and guide through the vehicle of mass communication. Michael Jordan's passion was using his extraordinary talent, dribbling and dunking on the basketball court. We were simply amazed by his sheer power and skill on the court. And helping the hurt, sick and dying, well, that was the calling of Mother Teresa. Hers was not a life filled with great monetary wealth, but a life defined by giving to others in need. Steve Jobs was a mastermind bringing electronic devices into our lives, more specifically the Mac computer and the iPhone. He, too, lived his life on purpose. So what do these individuals have in common? The first thing I say, they've got purpose. They knew what they wanted. They knew what they wanted to do. And they knew what they were created to do. What do they have in common? Passion. They knew the object of their desire, and they pursued it with energy and enthusiasm. And what do these individuals have in common? Power. Their personal strength propelled them forward. We witnessed their amazing ascent merely by doing what they were created to do. Mike Ween calls it the specific edge or the one thing you do extremely well. Mike Ween is a speaker, an author, and a world-class athlete who competes in the Ironman triathlon. And he developed a concept dubbed the specific edge. And so the tenets of the specific edge are the first being identifying your strategic advantage. Number two is focusing on the most appropriate targets. Number three is developing a compelling message. And number four, selecting the right vehicle. Wayne's concept is geared toward business professionals desiring to develop a specific edge to increase profits and business growth. And while business growth, development, and profits are fine, Wayne's concept may be flipped to developing the person rather than the business. So in that regard, the question becomes, how can one, and you change the one to I and make it personal for you, determine my specific edge without all the business gobbledygook? I surmise the concept may be parlayed to determining and answering the proverbial question, what was I created to do? What do I really do well that brings me the most satisfaction and joy? And your specific edge lies at the intersection of passion, purpose, and power. All of this, based upon Mike's Ween, Mike Ween's concept of, and his book called The Specific Edge, do you do really well that brings you the most satisfaction and the most joy? Passion is love, desire, and boundless enthusiasm. Purpose is the reason you exist and doing what you were put on earth to accomplish. And power is a personal strength to propel forward. When combined together, passion, purpose, and power allow you to focus your life with direction and intentionality. Mike Green goes on to further say that generalists and specialists differ in significant ways. Where generalists tend to cast a wide net, hoping to capture ample opportunities, specialists experience greater success 
when they focus on what they do best and position themselves as the expert, harness the power of being specific, and you will create new relationships, build a reputation, and turn something ordinary into something extraordinary. Those are Mike Wayne's words. Thus, why your greatest passion may just be your specific edge. To find your passion, your purpose, and your power. That's the intersection of your specific edge. I appreciate being with you this afternoon. I appreciate the time that you have taken to be in this space with me. Until next time, peace and blessings to you. Be safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.